All right, good morning, everyone. Hopefully you can hear me. We're going to go ahead and get started. So I'd like to first welcome the Loveland Sims Honor Guard. They're going to presentate, or present the colors. Now join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> and now I'd like to introduce Pastor Bill Hounsell for the invocation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come to you on this uh, very special day, we thank you, first of all, for the beautiful weather that you provided for us. And we just ask you, God, that you just anoint this time together. It is wonderful that we can dedicate a building that will be used to help people uh, throughout our community. We just ask you to protect the men who will be working on the building. But most of all, Father, protect the men and women who will be serving in that building when it is complete. We ask you to bless this time together. We shall give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Otto Yerber. I'm the fire chief here uh, at the Loveland Sims Fire Department. And I appreciate everybody being here and taking time out of your day to, uh, to celebrate this with us. Today is an exciting occasion. Today marks a significant milestone, not only for the fire department, but also for our entire community. We're breaking ground on the future home of Fire Station 63. A place will stand as a beacon of safety, dedication, and community service. I want to start by expressing our gratitude to the Loveland City leadership, our partners in local government, and every resident who has supported us in making this vision a reality. This station is more than a building. It's a commitment to our community, a promise to provide the highest level of emergency services and a testament to the strength and resilience of everyone in Loveland. When completed, Fire Station 63 will allow our firefighters to respond faster, to cover more ground, and to be better equipped to serve our neighborhoods. With advanced training facilities and state-of-the-art equipment, this station will enable our teams to prepare for the challenge of today and tomorrow. Building this new fire station reflects our ongoing commitment to improving public safety in the city of Loveland. As our fire district continues to grow, so do the demands on our fire and emergency services. With Fire Station 63, we're not just building for the present, we're building a legacy that will protect and serve communities, families, homes and businesses for decades to come. This is an investment in our firefighters and emergency responders. They are the heart of our department, the people who put themselves on the line every day to protect and support our community. This new facility will give them the space and resources they need to train, collaborate, and prepare, ensuring that they have every advantage possible when the call comes in. I'd also like to recognize the architects, engineers, construction teams, the USDA, and everyone working tirelessly behind the scenes to bring this project to life. Your work is invaluable, and we're grateful for your dedication to creating a safe and functional space for our department. To our community, we want to say thank you for believing in us, supporting our efforts to enhance public safety. Loveland is a special place, a community that comes together in good times and tough times alike. Fire Station 63, will stand as a symbol of that unity, a place where everyone can feel a little safer, knowing that help is always close by. In the months ahead, we look forward to watching this new station take shape, seeing our vision come become a reality, and thank all of those again that support us every day in our mission. With that, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Mayor Kathy Bailey. Welcome everyone. With us today, we also have our Vice Mayor Ted Phelps, Council Members Brian Goodyear, John Hart, Andy Bateman, and Kip Ping. I think that's every one of those. Um, also our City Manager Dave Kennedy, Assistant City Manager Chris Weinich, Clerk of Council Misty Clark is here somewhere, our Director of Finance Mark Medler, 
Assistant Director of Finance, Chuck Bastin, is here. Um, our Captain of Police, Dan Gangler. Let's see, Permitting Specialist, Becky Knoll. I know I'm missing people. I'm going to look at my list. Oh, good Lord, this makes... Krista Rose, <laughs> our Marketing and Communications Coordinator. She picked that title because I can never remember it. That's okay. Um, did I get everybody as far as who was here from council, from staff? Did I miss anyone? All right, we also have Jean Schmidt, our uh, Ohio State representative, who will be uh, delivering some remarks here in a moment. Uh, Judge Greenberg, who is former mayor of Loveland, is here today also. Um, I think that's everyone I wanted to make sure I at least mentioned here. So thank you all for being here. This uh, is a long time coming. This, I don't even remember when we started this process of determining that we needed a new fire station, a new location. Um, and it's not as easy as just finding a piece of land and, and putting a fire station there because uh, certainly uh, response time is very important to our fire department. I think you have a better what, standard of cover. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, so that was obviously a very important uh, aspect of how this location was chosen. And we had a committee that was put together to help our city decide what the best location to put that this fire station was. Um, Larry Flynn was one of our residents that was on that committee. Um, I know that uh, our vice mayor was also on that committee, Bruce Hawk from the fire department and several other members, and I think chose a, a really fine location. Um, obviously, you can't put a fire station out on the outskirts too far because of the standard of cover. So you need to try to fit into the community. And I think that a lot of effort was put into making sure that, that architecturally and the, the way that this building looked and fit into this location fits in with the surrounding area. So I uh, certainly want to thank everybody that was involved in the design, including, um, as you mentioned, uh, MSA, our architect, and actually Zach Herbst is here from MSA. So thank you for being here. Um, and then we have to find funding for a, for a fire department. We have not put on a levy to pay for this fire department. Um, nor do we intend to. We are uh, very thankful to the USDA for, for giving us a loan that, uh, that keeps this within, um, really is about as good as an interest rate as, as we could find. Um, and Mark McCann, who is the public information officer for the USDA, put your hand up, Mr. McCann. You are here uh, representing the USDA. DA, so we, we have uh, really partnered with them over these last several years to get to this point. So uh, thank you very much. Um, so that fire station that, that we are replacing, we've been in that since 1972. And obviously a lot of things have changed since 1972, including the size of our equipment and the size of trucks, um, safety standards. It, it is long past time for us to build a new fire station. We have one of the most awarded, top-notch, forward-thinking fire departments, certainly in this state, if not in, in this country. We are always extremely eminently proud of our fire department and our firefighters um, and the leadership in our fire department and i'm just very excited as is council in this community i think to give them a building that better fits where their uh, where their stature is because you are something else we are very proud to have you we know how much we count on sometimes we take it for granted how wonderful our fire department is um, but i think we're all very excited to see you um, get a building that that fits fits the quality of our fire department. And that's that's what this is going to be. So thank you all for being here today. We're, we're very excited about this. This will be fun to watch this take shape over the next few years. And uh, just glad that you were all here to share it with us. So thank you. All right, with that, Representative Schmidt. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Huber, our fire chief. I am so happy to be here. This is my second ribbon cutting of a fire department in 24 hours. And the good Lord provided perfect weather uh, for you to celebrate the future of safety in Loveland. We know that good cities, good communities can only be quality for our, their residents if they have great police departments, great fire departments, great service departments, and a fabulous mayor and city council. And Loveland fits that bill. And I'm not going to take too long. I'd like Otto to come up here because when we break the ribbon, 
I will get an accommodation. But right now I have a citation and it says recognition of this special event is indeed fitting tribute to the Loveland Fire Department uh, for since its inception, this fine agency has achieved a praiseworthy record of service. The groundbreaking for its new station is a justifiable source of pride and an outstanding reflection not only on the organization itself, but also on its dedicated members, both past and present, and on the entire community. While many people are content to take a passive role in life, the members of the Loveland Fire Department have risked their own safety to ensure the well-being of their fellow citizens and their property. And the enthusiasm and devotion to duty they have shown in all their endeavors, endeavors have earned them the gratitude and respect of the community they have so capably served. I am certain as they maintain their unwavering commitment to service, these diligent individuals will continue in the tradition of excellence that has become the department's hallmark. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a top rated fire department, not only in the state, but in the country. Thus, it is with sincere pleasure that I commend the Loveland Fire Department on the groundbreaking for its new station and extended best wishes for its ongoing success. Thank you.